Okay, so today we're gonna play a game called Little Hope. I have no gaming experience, especially when it comes to horror games, so please bear with me. The only thing I know about this game is that uh, the creators that made Until Dawn, which I have heard about it, but I haven't played it, made this game also. And they also made a game that appeared, uh, I think, last year or something like that. A year or so ago. Called Man of Bandan or something like that. So this is gonna be my first attempt of uh, finishing a horror game in the last 10 years. So we'll see how uh, how it goes. Oh, driving a bus at night, how convenient. I'm sure we're gonna be fine. This game haven't have any new started and I'm already hyperventilating. Fuck. The graphics on this game is amazing. And it's not like I know any better. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Uh, right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. What a beautiful name for a little town. Very positive. I would definitely want to live there. Here he goes. I'm a little bitch when it comes to horror games, so... If you hear a little scream, or a girl screaming... Just so you know, it's probably me. You rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Man, my hands are already sweating. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. Better hope. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, hey. please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Man. I can have to do this shit. Oh, I already had a, had a mini heart attack. I can barely speak. And by the way, if you're wondering, um, what time is it? So yeah, I'm very thrilled to play this game. Thank you for recommending me this. Holy shit. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we did. Why is it gonna be a little girl? Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. Can you believe how creepy you are? You're drunk! 
What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after ten beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't get how tough this is. You're not, not the me. only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Okay, let him be. <laughs> Not tonight. No way. Creepy ass girl. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Oh, here we go. Say nothing. Give her a break. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? Oh my god, this girl gives me the creeps. Hey, me this girl. Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will ya? Come on, man, take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? The thing that I know about this game uh, that I forgot to add is that I know that you have to save. Um, it's a game based. Uh, it's a decision kind of game. Game based decision, whatever. Whatever the fuck is called. You know what fuck I mean. And you have to save the people, so. Uh, I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door. That's the thing that I know about this game. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Same dad we got. Dad's been drinking. Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable. Like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the ten millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> Can you stop being a virgin, please? I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's curled up his ass? He's being a jerk. He's being even more annoying than usual tonight. A real jerk. So what else is new? Hey, Dennis. Hey, creepy sister. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. I'm busy doing important stuff. <gasps> hey! Here we go. Quit acting crazy! Oh, fuck you. Oh. Fuck you. Man, whoever recommended this, me this game, I hope you die in hell. Oh, fuck. Ah, okay. Calm down. 
It's just a game. It's just a game. Jesus. Oh. You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. Would like to have a bath in peace? I will do like. Take a break from this madhouse Get in the room. for a while. Holy fuck. So this game is up to no good. And so is this girl. She's up to no good. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Uh, just leave her alone. Probably better Being to creepy. leave Megan alone. And stuff. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Then right, go. sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. She's probably killing someone. Now what? Press mouse mouse one to pick up. Oh wow, a matchbox! Incredible, very interesting. Okay, that's enough. Wake up, Dad. That went right between Shearer's legs. When he was six inches off the ice, Shearer started to go down. Press mouse one, okay. Right back to Brian Watson. He pulls in his luck by Green on a big play. And out comes Buxton. Here's a lead pass. That is an in alone. He tries and all saves. Coming up 15 feet to break it up. I don't have to use too much of my keyboard as I can see in this game. You need to keep an eye on your little sister. I fucked up, I know. Mom is real worried about her. Can't imagine why. Tanya is shaking on her. Can't imagine why. Growing up with such a great and supportive family. You wanna try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Wow, what a beautiful dad. Can I just slap him a few times? Maybe he's gonna sober up. Maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna move. Can I not move? Okay, here we go. It's okay, Dad. You're probably wondering why I'm uh, walking like this in my house. Uh, now what? Examine. Here he is. Inspect. Oh, it's a book. Perfect a must... distraction from this madhouse. Okay, let me speak. A must read for anyone with an interest in Salem witch trials of 1692. Oh, gay. Okay. Here we go. Witch trials. I don't want to read anymore. Uh, let's see. Something was here. What am I supposed to see? Okay. Let's go through here. Hello, Dan. You may be wondering why I'm uh, walking around the house. And no, I didn't forget how my own house is uh, placed. Let's check the door. The shiny thing. Oh, thank you. It's locked. So I cannot leave this creepy family. Dad's been drinking. My my creepy sister is like that girl from the ring. Uh, 
Oh, this camera is fucking not. Where the hell are you? I'm coming. I'm sorry. I'm just Anthony, lost. Anthony, where are you? God damn it! Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. I got Alzheimer's. Come on. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. There she is. You could be right about my family. Who are you talking to, bitch? I think so too. Tanya, what's going on? Oh no. That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. What the hell is that? I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. This is not good. How is this forest spreading so fast? What are these Shit. people cleaning up Megan. the floors with? Gas? You in there? Oh. The kitchen's on fire. Are you fucking serious? Yes. I was just joking. Of course I'm not. I'm serious. Megan. That is fucking drunk. Oh, we're gonna die. Mom! Where the hell is everybody? Anthony! Help! Help! Oh. Anthony! Hey! Up here! What the fuck are you doing up there? I got trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony! Anthony, help! help! Hey, Dad! How can you sleep in this situation, man? How drunk can we be? <laughs> Bye. Did I fuck this up with my decision? That I did something wrong? Okay, mom is dead also. Wow. And I think I'm gonna have nightmares. I play this game and go to sleep. Okay, uh, help Megan, which it's the creepy uh, sister, and help Tanya, which me well, Megan is with the devil, so I'm not gonna help her. I'm gonna help uh, Tanya. It's gonna be fine. Can I just watch your girl die? Anthony, help! What should I do? I think I made the right decision. I think so. Okay, uh, climb the uh, drain pipe, use the window. Why would you use the window? To go back inside the house? Uh, Get to the drain useless. pipe and climb down! It's probably safer. Can you just jump? It's not that high. Would you rather be dead or have no legs? Jump, please. <laughs> That's not what I meant. This is some final destination shit right here. Was alive. Is 
Is this supposed to happen? Oh, I fucked it up. I wouldn't be surprised. Matches. What have you done? There's not oh, a You're on the. Good job. You just killed yourself. Hello. Hello. And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No. No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Okay, shoot. Hopefully it's not like the last one. Man, this guy is creepy as fuck. <laughs> Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. How about the dead family? The fire... No, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Oh, now I feel better. Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. That was You've seen how the about. story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. What is that supposed to mean? Can you be more specific? But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do not to help you. Of course. I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place. Sounds Apparently. like you have your own boss. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. At a mm. funeral, I sure have. I do enjoy a good funeral. I don't. <sighs> okay, so the family that died in fire, there was nothing I could have done better. I feel much better none of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened but we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace
Okay. My eyes. Interesting game so far. A bit too much creepy for my taste, but... Andrew, 18, college student. Anxious, detached. <clears throat> like every other student. Taylor. 22, college student, headstrong, sensitive. John, 43, college professor, rational, overbearing. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Well, that helped. Ah! Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? Uh, how he's, how's she, how's she doing? What do you mind, want me to do? Let's go with that. What do you want me to do, John? Call for help. If you can manage that. I can operate a phone. Calm down. I already tried. I'm on it. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Okay. Try some more. What is this? Taylor. Taylor agreed with John and tried calling for help again. Secrets. Very interesting. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I'm just going to pretend that I know. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I have to unlock this. Got it. Hey, Let's Andrew, play. buddy. How you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though. Just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. What the hell is the bus driver? Because I know it's the one from the beginning. When the game started. This is definitely the same Fucking crash. Fucking thing! Useless piece of crap! May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Here we go. Uh. Uh. Daniel, 20, college student, amiable, Fuck. defensive. Where's my phone? <laughs> Millennials, almost died in a car crash. Where's uh. my phone? Uh. No, my dude, uh. that's not your phone, that's a flashlight. Angela, 48, mature student, abrasive, understanding. Okay. Hey! Anyone up there? Hey! Daniel, that you? John! Good to hear you. Daniel! Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm alright. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the Maybe way? a creepy girl. Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. How are they fine? Well, I'm, I mean, they're <laughs> out of the bus. <sighs> Hey, Taylor. Outside. Help me get Andrew up crashed. on his feet, and will you? Like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. Wait. I don't remember anything. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John. You're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> professor has some uh, jokes We'll find on the him. others, get some help. Think of it as a character-building exercise. Come on, you can I do it. Pressed on it. What if? What am I supposed to press? I don't get it. There you go. 
had this dream. It was so real. Sorry, my dude. My hands are slippery. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. Uh, let's see. Why leave the bus? I'm staying here. Well, uh, I don't see the bus driver, so we probably should stay here and wait for him. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Well, that's true also, but someone will come. I don't think nobody will come. Where is the bus driver? Okay, Where's let's the driver? Go Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. Really? I don't want to go to that little town called, what it was, Little Hope. He could just as easily have banged his head and walked off the other way. Fine. You can stay right here. I'll go myself. Hey, Professor! He is a professor, right? I'm still fuzzy. Can we stick together? I don't want to wait on my own. I guess he's right. We should all stick together. I got no signal either. Must be some kind of black spot. Or you didn't pay your last bill. You get that during the crash? <sighs> guess so. No, no. I'm getting those zombie vibes. Okay. Just a second. Am I crazy or something where these people look exactly like that family that died in that uh, fire in the house? I mean, that professor looks like the, that guy's dad that just uh, died the last time. I forgot his name. Whatever. You know what I mean. What crawled up the professor's ass? I think you should show him a little more respect. He thinks he's smarter than us, but book smart is no good out here. He's all up himself, he acting like the than big you. man on campus. You're just campus. a student, so shut up, you know. Sorry. Sorry. Let's go to that shiny thing. Hey, professor. Where are you going? Let's go to this shiny thing. Welcome to Unreadable Abandoned Hope. Well, it's not unreadable. It says, Welcome to Little Hope. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why? Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. Yeah, I'm sure it's up to no good. I couldn't care less. <laughs> how do you know all this? If I say how do you know all this, it's probably because I'm a college professor. I know how, how do you know all, all this kinds stuff of anyway? things. <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books. There you I go. Like some. I knew it. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. True. Hate to say it, but the professor is right. Get out of my way, Andrews, or whatever your name is. Uh, I'm just walking in. Zigzag. Good to see you two. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. He's getting worried. It's probably I fingering grandma. Were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Okay, one. Three. One and two, a half. One. Push. Great job, you two. Finally, we are all together. What's the plan now? I already said I want to wait at the bus for help. 
not head into town like John wants. And we've already concluded this conversation. Not with everyone here we didn't. We should vote on it. No need for a vote. Decisions made. You don't call the shots. Scared you lose. What should I say? Let's go you with this. You scared you lose? There's not going to be a vote. I'm sorry, but we really don't have time to be arguing. You'll stay here with me, won't you? Uh, no, stay looks like he ain't so keen after all. What was that you got supposed something to, me? to say to me, spit it out. John's right. Heading into town is our quickest way to find help. Satisfied? Sure. Whatever you say. Try to be civil. Costs nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Oh Try doing God. it yourself you sometimes. Please here. move and shut the fuck up. He's not my boyfriend. I'm not wasting my breath on you. Let's go with this one. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? I'm still not sure heading into town is such a great idea. I'm going to hang out by the bus while you all do whatever you have to. You want to come along and wait with me? Bye-bye. Okay. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'll be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down yeah, a car stick and together. This is not Scooby-Doo. We shouldn't have split up. Okay. I think I fucked that up. They're probably dead right now. You get lost? No. We're back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? Uh, can I bitch that slap this grandma? It. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful! Watch out! Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. And these... These guys are like little babies. Have little tantrums and shit. What? what? I walked away from you! We're trapped here! There's no way out! I, I uh, great. don't understand! She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Will you shut the fuck okay, up? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Man, I hope you, you die first, Grandma. I'm already sick of you. And we're back. Great. <sighs> I admit that is a little odd. Uh, just a little. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. what can we do? Calm down. Please. Calm down, Talisha. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. Apologetic, I'm sorry. It's your fault. No, I don't want to have that discussion. Let's just... I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't Keep understand. It civil, like the it's like you said, said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're going to be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. 
someone else thinks they can do a better job, step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? Why am I hearing an echo? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. There you He's go. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. You heard Thank that, you. Talisha? Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town. So let's head that and way. Some of us have I don't fog get how in our brains. Further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. There you Sounds go. like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Exactly. How'd you get that bruise? There's something on their necks, man. Must have got it when the bus crashed. Is this gonna be a zombie game? Those bite marks on their necks give me the creeps. That's not good. That's not good at all. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Yeah. And what you're saying makes total sense. Oh look, a black cat. That's always I don't a like good the sign. Look at that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. Yeah, in a place like this, I, I doubt it. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why not go with Why them? Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're oh really my god, we're going to discuss this now? this now? Like Please. we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? Exactly. This is a big deal. Exactly what For Felicia me, said. Now, I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. What did you talk about? Did you blab about us? What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. Well, you should tell her, let her imagine. Just slow. Just let's go with this one. Let her imagine so we whatever can finish she wants. this Probably conversation. Crazy. <laughs> I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? Yeah, let's move the fuck. I need to know 100% I can rely on of... you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. This is not the time to fuck around. Or are we going inside. <laughs> I felt bad feeling about this. Oh, somebody's there. Hello. Why is everybody so sweaty? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? Say what one more time. Yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. 
You mean you're trapped uh, sorry too? Sorry for busting in like this. Yeah, can you please speed uh, it up? The bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. He certainly looks shook up. I'm Vince. Hi, hey, Vince. Amir. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years. You thought about Sounds like you can use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. <clears throat> it's right there if you change your mind. This guy looks like the dad of that guy that uh, died in the house. And he was drinking a lot. It's probably something. Just let's say not for me. Not for me. That's right. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. I don't know. We crashed here. It was not a vacation trip. What ha What's happened here? Why are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing in here alone? I'm sure you have a good reason to be here. Right? Yeah, I got my reasons for being here. Well, are you going to tell us? Want to tell us about it? There's a phone here. You want to tell us about it? Not the sharing type. Do I look like I'm a big talker? No. Let's just leave him be. <laughs> There's all kinds in his play. Shame. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Hopefully nothing. I don't want to dig uh, up nothing. He's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little. No problem. I'm going to take a look around. One of us has to find a way... Why did he cut you all of a sudden? <clears throat> At least I'm looking for a way. Oh my god, we almost Just crashed. A quick throw, then we'll figure out we're how almost we're died and this guy's here. playing dodge. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. So you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Yeah, the crash. We almost died and we're playing darts. Okay. I have a question about this dude. How is he drinking here? Where's the barman? I mean, is he the barman? And he's like, hey, here's something to drink. And then he goes around the, around the bar and, oh, thank you. And he drinks. I'm just wondering. Or is his own client in his own bar? Something like that. There we go, a phone. Hello? Fuck. Great. 